Hello friends, in this video we will try to see how to read multiple sheets in Excel okay, using Databricks notebook. For example, I have an Excel file. So this Excel file consists two columns, one is ID and name. Here I have two records. Okay, so in the second sheet I do have another two records. Like that I do have another two records in sheet 3 in sheet 4 also I do have another two records so the data has been splitted across multiple sheets for the same in same table data so in this case we will try to see how to handle this particular scenario in practical okay so first of all we will try to see how to write the one particular sheet and after that we will try to see how to do the union for all the sheets at one particular way okay so we'll try to look at the path of the excel which we loaded okay first of all let's say files to tables so under file store tables in this path the file excel sheet exists red underscore excel dot excel this is the file okay we are trying to read this particular file now okay so red excel file so now let's say year underscore excel equal to spark dot red dot format so we need to define the format whereas in csv and parquet we can directly mention either it is csv or parquet but whereas in excel we are supposed to explicitly we have to uh, import the libraries which supports the actual sheet so in this particular case there is an uh, one library called Creolytics. okay so com dot Creolytics dot spark dot excel so here is a library which we are going to install it in our spark notebook and then we are trying to we need to read it okay then option let's say option infer schema so true and then option let's say Add a row and let's say another option called data address. What this data address denotes means if I want to read a particular uh, sheet out of the Excel, so this will help me to read it. Okay, sheet let's say if i want to read sheet 2 okay now this will this command this option will help me now finally let's try to give the path of the excel let's copy paste it so in order to uh, read this excel right by specifying uh, so this library as discussed has to be installed so we'll, I already installed it in my system. So I will try to show you. Go to the compute. Go to the cluster. And under that, go to libraries. So under libraries. So I already installed it. So in, if you want to install it, just install new. And check the Maven button. And then you can type here the same which I can able to show the external library com.creolytics spark iphone excel and this version if you type this here and then click on install so that it will install that particular external library over here okay so this is the cluster level installation now we will try to go back in our notebook
So that's the way of installing in the cluster level under Maven. Now we'll try to so we will try to print the display df underscore excel. Okay, now we will try to run and see. So now what we are trying to do, we are trying to write the sheet number 2. Sheet number 2 consists 3 and 4 IDs. For example, let's say if I want to write sheet number 3, then 5 and 6 data we can. Let's see if I want to write for the fourth sheet. Now you can able to see 7 and 8. And uh, if I don't install it, this particular external Creolytics library, then this command won't run. First, we need to, before firing this query, we need to install it under the Maven. Okay, then we, have, we should come on here and we should fire it. Okay, so this is the way that this is the way for reading the single uh, i mean to say uh, indi indi independently we will read the uh, sheets okay now we will try to create a function and we will do the union and at, at one shot by calling that function we can able to merge all the sheets okay under any single data frame so let's see how to do that let's define so let's take so for time being i am just hard coding it but explicitly we can able to dynamically pass it okay so though it is uh, just for demo i am just hard coding it for time being sheet 3 let's say sheet 4 so we do have four sheets now let's try to we'll try to define the path let's say here is the our path okay now we'll come to the udf now we will try to create so here is the four sheets which we had it and this is the path of that now we'll create it udf to match all sheets let's see all sheets okay now create the function function name is red excel sheets okay let's take index and sheets sheets comma path okay so we have taken all the sheets sheets info and path okay now we we'll try to call first sheet so first sheet holds sheets of zero okay and then we'll try to write the df equal to so we'll try to copy paste this so the same line option infer schema true and then so what it's seen here data address let's say function here what we have to pass means so let's say first underscore sheet okay now let's enclose this okay dot load so we have taken the dev path into under path uh, variable okay now define the schema let's say red df dot schema so red df dot schema we are storing under schema okay now we will try to iterate it using for loop for all the sheets for sheet in sheets 
let's say one cool using slicing concept okay now let's say excel df equal to let's try to use the same query okay here rather infer schema we'll try to define schema as see, schema so which we have which we are taking from the first df okay schema added to data df of function let's say here we are going to take sheet okay so this variable we are passing it here okay sheet when dot when we are loading the path now we will try to union both the data frames let's say red df equal to red df dot let's say union of x and df okay now return red df okay so this is the udf which will take it see first we are calling it as first sheet okay we are trying to load it under red underscore df okay we are calling it as first sheet and after that after the first sheet so we are trying to iterate from the first sheet itself and then loading it into second df and then we are doing union for the all the data frames and then we are doing the red df is the final results okay now let's try to run this cell so it's a run it now we will we would like to print the final result okay let's say final df equal to we'll try to call this function okay sheets and path now let's display final df okay now we will try to run and see path must be as absolute path okay scanner path Not path okay absolute path okay 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 sorry i should not pass okay now we will try to run it and we will try to run it finally f is not defined equal to okay it's a small letter now we can able to fetch all the sheets information now if we try to run and see if you try to look at it we do have total eight rows okay in here from all the sheets okay so this is how we can able to achieve by using the udf function is so what we done it so we took it the absolute path and from the path we are going to read the excel file and using the external library initialization and once this creolytics library has been installed then we are trying to read it so which one may be the sheet we want to read it we can able to read it independently by providing the data address option and further we are creating udf for that we are taking absolute path as well as the number of sheets and then initially we are taking the first sheet we are trying to read it and opposed to that 
using the slicing option we are taking post first sheet num n number of sheets which exists so that are we are storing into excel df and then finally loading it to both the data frames by using union joining and then returning the df and calling the same df okay and then finally we can able to look up the expected outcome so this is how we can able to achieve by using the external library okay so that's all for today's case if you really like it please do subscribe like it and share it and do the comment